Welcome to Color Compare of Gold Colors. So these are all metallic gold paints from the Citadel and Army Painter lines, and we are looking at these four colors today. So first we have, from the Citadel side, Retributor or Retributor Armor. This is a very interesting color. It's very interesting because the Citadel uh, line, they actually have one called Balthazar Gold that is actually not the gold color that you're looking for. That will be in another episode with other colors similar to it. So we have Retributor Armor on the Citadel side, and on the Army Painter side we have primarily these two colors, Bright Gold and Greedy Gold. And then coming in because it has gold in the name, though I know maybe we should have included the Balthazar gold on the Citadel side. Oh well, we have tainted gold here on the Army Painter side as well. So let's take a look at these three first, and I'll get them up nice and close to the camera and the good lights here, because I want to show you a few interesting differences. First of all, metallic paints are hard to photograph. Right? They're hard to film. So I'm going to try to kind of spin them around here a little bit, try to give you that nice look at them. And then we'll kind of see what we're dealing with. And what we're dealing with here is the Retributor Armor and the Bright Gold and the Greedy Gold are all very similar, but we notice some important differences. Number one difference is the Citadel Metallics I've noticed this with all their metallics. They are flatter, uh, more consistent in their coverage, but also not as shiny as the Army Painter ones. So they just don't catch the light quite as much as those, but they cover better. So you see these got kind of like the swirls and things in them. Maybe a couple of coats would even that out, or a couple more coats. This is actually two coats, I believe. But I don't know, it's kind of a trade-off. Do you like the shiny? Do you like the flat coverage? As I've watched these paints settle, and I do put mixing bowls in my Citadel metallic paints because they do need a good mixing, something I've noticed when they settle out is that the Citadel colors is not a metallic pigment in a clear medium. What it is is it's actually metallic pigment in a tinted medium of sorts. So there are some other non-metallic colors at work here in these Citadel paints, at least from what I can see. Versus on the Army Painter side, it's metallic color in clear medium. So that all the whole color is metallic and you don't have that, that tinted or that extra color in the medium. So there you go. We've got Retributor Armor, Bright Gold, Greedy Gold, Bright gold, I'm going to say, is shinier than Retributor Armor, so we're going to kind of put these in order. Retributor Armor in the middle, and then Greedy Gold a little bit on that maybe darker kind of side. So they're all very similar colors for sure. Now we did add in this Tainted Gold, and what we see this coming in with is just a little bit of a green hue, is really what it has. And honestly... The camera is not quite doing this justice. It is noticeably green. This would be good for, like, um, I'm going to paint gold that's sort of underwater. Maybe has a little bit of green something growing on it. Or I want, like, cursed Aztec gold. Or I don't know. Whatever you want to do with this tainted gold, you can. It's a neat color. But I would say it's probably more for your specialized treasure piles, or, I don't know, throw that on some Plague Marines. Maybe that would look good. So you let me know if you're going to be using this Tainted Gold, what you're putting those on. Otherwise, this is a hard one for, you know, my recommendation. I always like to give you, you know, kind of what I would buy. Uh, I would buy Retributor Armor again. I do like this color. I like it a lot. Uh, honestly, I would buy the Citadel or the um, Army Painter Metallic set, uh, both the regular and the colored ones. I want all the Army Painter Metallic paints because they're all just so good. In fact, you see there's some missing back here in the background. You see how there's some missing? It's because they're right here. They are my front row of the paint rack on my painting table. That's how much I like to have these on hand. So, 
Um, yeah, I want all these colors. I would say the color that I probably use the most actually is the greedy gold. Uh, the bright gold I reserve for like really shiny things like the trim on ultramarines or uh, stormcast or things like that. If I'm painting orcs, they're getting some greedy gold just because it's a little, I don't know, more tarnished looking maybe. And the tainted gold will show up when I think it's, you know, fun. But I don't put that on a lot of uh, kind of in-use things. It's more for, like, scenery. So there you go. There's my takes on metallic gold paint. Let me know what you think in the comments. And take care. Thanks for watching. Let's get gaming.